All new tonight, the pending release of the so-called Manoa Rapist is especially upsetting to one woman who never actually met the man. She tells our Ben Gutierrez she and her father were also victims in a different way. Ben? John Freudenberg was recently granted parole after serving more than 40 years in prison for a series of rapes in Manoa in the early 1980s. But Jenny Onizuka says Freudenberg is also to blame for what happened to her father, who was originally arrested for the crimes. He was a John that lived in Manoa and was at Manoa Shopping Center when one of the victims had came forward and said that it was a John that was the rapist. Jenny Onizuka is talking about her father, John Dante, who was arrested and jailed as the suspected Manoa rapist. I don't know how long my dad was in prison, but I assume in the 80s, there wasn't much protection for a rapist or accused rapist for that matter. Date, who was just 19 at the time, spent about three months behind bars before police arrested John Freudenberg, who ultimately pled guilty to 36 crimes, including rape, sodomy, sex abuse, and burglary. Onizuka says the state apologized and paid Date an undisclosed monetary settlement. Yes, he did some good with the money. He bought the family home in Manoa and all this stuff, but ultimately it was his decline because whatever money was left was put to drugs and alcohol. Onizuka believes her father's problem stemmed from his wrongful arrest. She says in 1998, when she was just four years old, Dante committed suicide. She says Freudenberg shares the blame. Yes, my dad took his own life, but I feel like John gave him the rope. He gave him the mental illnesses, the drug addictions to take his own life. Freudenberg was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole and has pleaded for his release every year since his minimum sentence ended in 1996. I did plead guilty to my crimes. I took responsibility as um, as I was charged because I thought that was the right thing to do. But he was rejected every time until this year. The paroling authority says Freudenberg, now 64, successfully completed all treatment programs and his attorney says he'll wear an electronic monitor and must be in close contact with his parole officer. If someone completes a sex offender program, they have less than a 3% chance of recidivism. And that's not a statistic that I'm making up as a defense attorney. That is a statistic that is commonly known and embraced by the Department of Justice as well as the state of Hawaii. Onizuka is upset that she didn't get a say. It is not right for me not to be considered in this deliberation, in this consideration, because ultimately my father took his life potentially because of this man. Attorney Miles Briner also says it will still be a few more weeks before Broyden Fordenberg is released on parole, as the paroling authority still has to approve where he will live. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.